We're here. We found the nest. But in what state? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no way this thing is flying again. Don't say that. You could make a rock fly with the right tools. Well, maybe. But not this one. Both wings are wasted. The propellers were ripped off. And I'm not even done checking the inside. We weren't really planning on leaving, were we? We don't really have another place to go anyway. I'm tired. Why are we always so unlucky? Uh... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site, even though we hadn't really planned for it. Finally, we get hit with an earthquake, all right, but we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You, we are the luckiest people in the universe. That's. That's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life. With our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that loot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. <sighs> what did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Sorry, birds. We didn't see you. Whoa. What a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah. We'll need to find a way to correct that, but it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax, if you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I am going to bed. These floating islands are really something. Yeah. Never imagined I would ever see this. I'm not hungry. I never thought I would hear you say that in my whole life. I guess my stomach has a deep connection to the nest condition. Do you want to tidy up a bit? No. Tomorrow. I don't feel strong enough right now.
Huh? You okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, seemed like it was. Do you want my opinion? I'm not a dream expert or anything, but... It wasn't a dream. I wasn't sleeping, my eyes were wide open. No, your eyes were closed. I'm telling you, they were open. I saw everything. You, the, the room, everything. Okay, okay. What I meant was that it may have been because of the nest. What? You said you couldn't move. You were nailed to the bed. A bit like the nest which is stuck to the ground, right? You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means that if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah, we're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so, because I have no idea what else we can do. It did feel a bit weird at first, but now I can't even tell the nest is tilted. I guess I got used to it. What? No, 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 no. You cannot get used to it. We're gonna get the nest out of this crevasse. I don't want to get used to it. You never told me. What does your mate look like? Eh, I don't know. Didn't you get her file from the matchmaker? Yeah, I did. But I never really looked at it. Seriously? You're not even curious? Well, no. <laughs> I already knew you. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, we'll look at it together. If you wish. Huh. Oh, all right. Any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. 
Uh, huh. She's kind of cute. You think so? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? I don't know. Too much makeup, I think. I like a more natural look. Like yours. Mm-hmm. Do you really think I'm not wearing any kind of makeup right now? Um... <laughs> Come on. Let's check her profile instead of this foolishness. Let's see. Interests. Reading, music, having a drink with my friends. Whoa. Do you think you can handle such a strong personality? <laughs> That's harsh. Job. Ocean Biology Research Assistant at the University of Ox. Huh. Okay. Looks like you two are made for each other. No one is made for each other. That's the kind of rhetoric the matchmaker uses. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But it still looks to me like that was a bleeding good pick. You'd make a great couple. Might have made. There's a difference. Uh, tell me. Are you really wearing makeup right now? <laughs> we spend every waking minute together in the nest. If I discreetly slipped into the bathroom every morning to put on some eyeliner, don't you think you'd notice? <laughs> yeah. At least... I think? But you're not really answering my question, though. I know. a little snack for the road huh sounds good i'll bring the first aid kit as well just in case <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Balding blunt! Ugh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. What's the issue exactly? Well, the back pain will be crazy, for one. And also, I don't know about you, but I personally like having a reasonably symmetrical body. I meant with the track the globe. Ah. Not enough power, it seems like. The battery drains out even before lifting the nest a centimeter off the ground. Although, to be fair, it was originally designed to lift cargo crates into ships. Not the ships, themselves. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that. But we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for flow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt the gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down. Excuse me? You've never heard of that saying? No. Uh, must be a truth thing then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah. I got it. Anyway, how much rust do you need in order to... <laughs> pull the panties down? 
uh, I don't know, four or five blocks like those we already got? Okay, so let's try and find that. Sweet old tractor globe. Doing its best. Even though it'll never work without a new gasket. turn we'll do better next time see that looks like there's some flow hiding underneath yeah weird it looks like a flow bridge that's begging to pop out like a budding flow bridge perhaps if we wait long enough could come back later. Fine with me. Yum. This way is also full of rust. Not for long. Here, another big chunk. We probably should grab some more, just to be sure. Okay? For sure. Be careful. These creatures don't seem to be in their right mind. I did notice that. being sweet. Seems like it was the rust that made him aggressive. Any idea why? It could just be because they're uncomfortable. If the rust hurts them, that would explain why they're turning violent. But it doesn't explain why they're attacking us and not fighting amongst themselves. Maybe the rust is taking over their nervous system in some way, like a parasite. Or maybe it's because of pheromones. You could also say, I don't know. I'd understand. Okay. I don't know. You hear that, Oink? You're a scientific mystery. Oink. His name is Oink now. Up. 
Another one. Are you okay? Enjoying the view? Definitely. Come on. Just a little more rust and we'll be set. I think that's enough rust to cobble up your tractor real quick. Are we leaving then? Ready when you are. Chill! Haha! <laughs> Meet my boyfriend. Dodge this one! Your turn! I got this. You're safe! Nice! Done and done. <laughs> It's bad. That'll do. Aha! In your face! You started it. Are you okay? Now what? Now shoot! One to go. That didn't seem to bother him much. I don't even think he felt that. Oh, did I miss? Eat that. He didn't like that too much. This one's ready. Yep. Your turn. On it. Well done. The end. We're gonna get stuffed. This one is nice and ripe. Are you sure you know where we're going? I think so. What does she want from us? Uh, nice one. Uh, chill. You? Yep. Saw that. Target left. Wow. You're all right. Take that. Bam. <laughs> Cover me. Ooh. Your turn. I got this. Are you okay? Got this. One to go. Take that. You know what to do. I'm on it. 
much nicer this way. This is where we came from. All right, I know. Another thing from home. How many do you think Axanova built before they realized it wouldn't work? Two already seems like a lot. Throwing money around isn't exactly within the company culture. Neither is canceling a project for that matter. I'm not surprised that everyone remained discreet about this whole failed colonization business. I am surprised by the fact my mom has never mentioned it to me. I don't think Axanova wins colonization contracts on the regular. These buildings look kind of old. Your mom may not have been head of the company then. She may not have been with the company at all. Yeah, that's possible. Still, it's weird. Agreed. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. Wanna trade places? As you wish. We've been spotted. I have a good one. this well done want to go i got your back sweet get back Ugh. awesome you block out oh. 
Kill. Let's get it over with. And done. See you around. That's how we rock. Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this one yet. Followed. Do you see what I'm seeing? What? Straight ahead. An aerial flow thread. Oh, yeah. Do you think it could carry us all the way up there? Only one way to find out. Are we saving those for later? Of course. over here. That was the last one. Seems like that's the highest we'll get. That wasn't too far off. Look, there's another bridge over there. Ugh, I wanted to go all the way up. We'll have to lay off the apple dews then. Zip. 
into the bag. Oh, did you feel that? What? Like a tremor. No, I wasn't paying attention. I hope I imagined it. Better? Yes. Thank you. Should we take a break? Indeed. <sighs> if you told me one day I'd be millions of lumsack from the apiary watching rocks flying by. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd say intriguing. I'm trying to figure out how it works. I'm pretty sure you don't know how nucleosynthesis works either. But you can still appreciate the stars in the sky. That's true. <sighs> it could be worse. Yeah. Actually, this is all thanks to the matchmaker. What? Think about it. Imagine the matchmaker had put us together. We would have spent our boring lives in the apiary without surprise. And we would have never ended up here. Together. Watching rocks flying by. I don't care about these rocks. All I care about is being with you. Here, in the apiary, in deep space, or at the bottom of a hole. It's all the same to me. It's all decorative. Some decor are a bit nicer than others, though. Yeah, but that's... What's that phrase you use in sciences? Oh yeah, negligible amounts. Can you keep up back there? Are you kidding? I have to go in slow motion. I feel like she's avoiding us. They're right behind us. What was that noise? Ugh, oh, my stomach. It needs to be... F did I just see that thing eat up a flow thread? Sure did. That's probably why these creatures don't seem affected by the rust. Good for them. But I hope they're sparing some for others. Us, namely. And more rust. You can never have too much.
Whoa. I'm not sure what his toy did to him, but I wouldn't like to be in its place. Hold on. Isn't that... What? Let's get a closer look. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Don't be scared. We're just trying to take a closer look at you. Okay. It would seem that he's not going to share his toy. What did I tell you? Eat that! It seems like my attacks aren't planned. Maybe if we both attacked at the same time. I think we found the right technique. Three, two, one. Go, go, go! Ha! I'm sure he felt that. On your mark. Go, go, go! You want some more? Ready? Now! Awesome! On your mark? Now! Aha! All set! Go, go, go! This one's ready. I'm on it. Right before the picking. Harvest time. Hip pow. Who's next? You make a good team. He left his toy behind. That looks like. A robot? Almost. It's a Draca. Drone for autonomous cartography. Very old tech. The kind we sent out to beauty before it was integrated to the apiary. Oh. Seems like they pondered integrating Source for a while as well. I wonder why they changed their minds. It could be the fact that this planet is scattered like a puzzle. Probably was a factor. The Draca may hold some answers. You're kidding. No, really. Stuff from that era was built tough. We may be able to boot it back up. Hmm. Okay. I might have spoken a bit quickly. The flow circuits are completely fried. But, 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 but look at what I was able to salvage. The anti-grab chips don't seem to be damaged. I should be able to make them compatible with our boots by tweaking the connectors a bit. Whoa. Even better, the mapping module is also working perfectly. If I plug that into the glove's power source, it should... Boom! This should be very helpful for finding our way around the bits of land. <laughs> you never cease to impress me. Ah, uh, that's nothing, really. These old machines are plain and simple astronautical engineering. Not like the new stuff with boronic nano components everywhere. <clears throat> Whoa! Kay! Your face is all swollen! You should see the other guy. <laughs> Idiot. But don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Now we just need to find a place to lay low and clean up these wounds. Would the nest work? Certainly. So that way we can map out the different bits? Yeah, and with this, we can make our way back to the nest a lot easier. Hey, look! It says there's another bridge in this area. Perfect. That way we can test if your thingy works. alone?
your mark? Down, down. Are you all right? Ready? Now! You? Yep, saw that. Whammo! Bullseye, there you go. Ready when you are. Ready. You know what to do. I got this. Here to bam! <sighs> One left. Let's get it over with. And done. He's ripe for the picking. Harvest time. Done and done. Watch out! You almost ran into me. Why were you hanging back anyway? Do you still need rest? Of course. It's always useful. Be. Whew. We lost him. Okay, now I'm really starving. Imagine how I feel. This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, was it reflex? Watch your six. We're too quick for them. Creeps. You can't catch us that easily. Right on. Seems like the radar. Are you surprised? Hmm. Huh. This is weird. What is? It looks like there's also a pre-recorded location on the radar. Huh. What could it be? I don't know. Little Draco's favorite picnic spot? In that case, we definitely have to check it out. So? Well, it fits. That's a good sign. Let's get this ball rolling. What? What? Haven't you heard of that one either? Oh no, I have. It's just a really old-fashioned saying. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, that's worse. Can you just switch on the track to globe, please? <laughs> okay.
It worked! We did it. Now, we just need to fix up the wings, and the turbine, and the hypopropellers, and... Don't be so cynical. Getting the nest out of the crevasse was quite a feat. Huh? No, don't get me wrong. I am genuinely delighted. I love fixing things up. But... I don't think we need to get started right away. <sighs> That's a relief. Hmm. This isn't gonna go very far without rust. Come on, give me your boots. Once I plug in these chips, they'll be like a whole new pair. I can barely figure out left and right as they are. I am gonna kill them. I swear I am gonna kill them. Are you sure you don't wanna take a break, get some fresh air? No! These bleuding anti-grav chips aren't the boss of me! I still don't understand what the problem is. The problem is, there is such a thing as a standard. And the Borons who designed this drone thought it might be fun to improve this standard. Except, if you take a standard and improve upon it, you get... Two standards? Zero standard! <sighs> And so now, it looks like I have to machine these boron chips. Just so they can fit in these bleuding boots. Uh, anything I can do to help? No, I'm okay. I'm done. What? But that was super quick. Well, yeah, when you have the right tools. I mean, since you were complaining, I was thinking that it would take a while. It's a matter of principle. Let's go. We'll see if these work outside. Ready to test these bad boys? I guess. What are we doing? Okay, follow the thread as usual, except this time we should be able to make it till the end. That's awesome. You've traveled across space, but floating a few feet above the ground is awesome? Uh, awesomeness is very subjective, you. In any case, these boots are working. We should try them with that thread we weren't able to use last time. Do you remember where it was? The mapping module certainly does.
All right, give me those medical plants of yours. Time to fire up the synthesizer. With this thing, we'll be right back on our feet. Are you sure you know how? I have a synthesizer in my ship. Of course I know how these work. Uh, no, wait, that's not the way. I know what I'm doing. Really? Because at this stage, you should... Ugh, look, I've always done it this way, and it's always worked out. You're not gonna tell me how to use my own synthesizer. All right. All right, as you wish. You could also do it that way. And? Sorry, I doubted you. And? Uh, I love you? Okay, that's not what I was expecting, but it'll do. Improve what, exactly? You? Yeah? I see you've brushed your hair in the shower again. How can you tell? It's not draining. Uh oh, sorry. It's a bit late to start cooking food. Oh. You can open your eyes. Surprise anniversary! Huh? <laughs> I meant to say surprise and then I thought, happy anniversary. I panicked. Whose anniversary is it? It's our anniversary. One month on Source. Already? Yeah. I mean, give or take a few days. It went by fast. Yeah. Remember the time we almost died crashing on this planet? And the time we almost died in an earthquake? Ah, uh, and the time we almost died fighting that critter? I hope this is only the beginning. And that I'll have many more chances to almost die with you. Aren't you a charmer? So? Are you gonna open your present? Well, our present. Sure. Sure. Uh-huh. What is it? Fermented apple dews. I stuck them in the soaker tub to accelerate the process. I'm calling it apple brew. Hmm. Do you think that it's any good? Well, worst case scenario, we just wasted some apple dews. No big deal. Should we open it now? We can open it whenever you want. To us. To us. Hey, that's really good, actually. <laughs> that really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. No, oh, before that. Before? 
We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, Come on, let's go. Hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight, you hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands, that's it. Oh, <laughs> Flute, I remember. It was in Frosember. It was super cold out. I was freezing. I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. <laughs> and since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside. So I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means if I hadn't misunderstood that night... It wouldn't have changed a thing. Well, still, that means we would have never known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. Mm, I'm not buying your story. Huh? Why were we stargazing that night? You spent the entire night pointing out this and that constellation to me, wondering if there might be other inhabitable planets outside of the apiary, other forms of life. You were completely obsessed with the sky. I was even trying to open up about my issues, but you barely listened. And off you went again, chattering about the comets, the microorganisms, or whatever. So, keeping in mind that you had access to this data about Source, and the fact that you are K, do you really think you would have never stumbled upon this planet anyway? <sighs> you might be right. <sighs> was I really that annoying? <laughs> yes. I came to see you that night because I needed someone. I had nowhere else to go. But at the time, I regretted it. I was actually thinking it would be the last time we saw one another. But you insisted. And the following week, you came to see me in the evening with your little homemade cookies. We chatted all night. And I do believe that is when I fell in love. Which means that beforehand... We had known each other for like three weeks, Kay. Do you really think that I fell head over heels the first time I saw you? I know I fell head over heels the first time I saw you. Oh, okay. You just like my looks then. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. You mean you don't like the way I look? I have a feeling there's no right answer. Then don't answer. What are you looking for? My necklace, you know, with the metal. Where was the first place you looked for it? I'm asking because you usually find things in the first place you looked. Where it's supposed to be, around my neck. And it's not around my neck. All right, all right. I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, help me look for it. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, you know we'll find your medal eventually. The nest isn't that big. 
What if I lost it outside? Uh, yes. That would be a problem. Worst case scenario, we can make another one. Which do you want? Medal for best cook? For distinguished service under the sheets? You don't understand. I've always had that medal. Since I was a baby. This is the last memory I have of my parents. Okay. In that case... Uh, and you never take off your medal? No. Except when I shower, I guess. The string doesn't do well in water. So? Did you check out the shower area? Huh. Got it! You're the best, you! It's not like there was a lot of competition. I'm done. It's all straightened out. Everything's tidy and clean. Besides us, that is. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of stinky. Off to the shower then? Ah, uh, Blute. What is it? I just mobbed the bathroom. Oh. Do you think we can marinate another 10 to 15 minutes in our own filth? <laughs> Honestly, can do. Ready to reach some new heights? Always. Do you want to do it here, or...? Oh, no. I was referring to the boots. You know, with the anti-grav sticks, now we'll be able to go to new places and everything. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but I'm sure it can wait. So, what's this rocky chunk got to say? Well, for starters, it says it's not a rock. Really? It's not living, is it? No. It's not mineral or organic. So, what is it? <laughs> Going straight to the hard questions. But that is not how science works. How does it work, then? First of all, you formulate a hypothesis. Then you build an experiment to test this hypothesis. You observe, and you learn. Okay, then what have you learned? That I'm lacking imagination regarding hypotheses. One thing we know for sure is that rust particles scatter immediately when in contact with flow. I'd like to observe this reaction more closely. You can do that next time. Right now, you should go to bed. Already? What time is it? No idea. But I know I'm sleepy. And I want my snuggles before I crash. <laughs> gotcha. Ready to reach some new heights? All oh, what you want to do? Oh, I was...
throat. There's kind of an apple dew taste. It's in there. Hmm. Can I ask you a weird question? Of course. Don't take it the wrong way, okay? No worries. Wouldn't you want to meet your mate? Well, I don't really have a choice anyway. I mean, if you could. Then no. She looks like a nice girl, but I wouldn't want to give her any false hopes. <sighs> You've meant yours, haven't you? Yeah. And? He's a boron. Okay. Uh, that's it? You have nothing else to say? Well, let's just say we can spend hours talking about a complete boron who we'll never see again. Or we could choose to have a good time. Got it. Okay, we need to talk. Should I be worried? Yes, no, maybe. Promise me you won't be mad. I can't promise anything without knowing what this is about. <sighs> it's about your skidding skills. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say that you could use some extra training. <laughs> okay, show me. You're not mad? Why would I be mad? I love to learn new things. All right, let's hop on a few threads to practice. Oink. What's happening, big guy? Why are you here? You missed us, didn't you? I bet he felt lonely on his empty eyelid. You do realize that we can't take you along on our journeys, don't you? That would be too exhausting for you. But you can stay with us next to the nest if you want. <laughs> no funny business, though.
Let me know when you want to lead, all right? Sure will. Double backflip. What's up? Whew. Well... Oh, yeah, so did I... like a whole new world just opened up. Find what we need in this area to repair the nest. Well, there's no doubt about it now. Source was clearly colonized. Look at these. They don't look like research outposts. These are clearly dwellings. Huh. I don't understand. Why would Exum Nova lie in their file? That's what bothers you? There are tons of reasons people lie. I think the question you should ask is, how was the apiary able to colonize an entire planet without anyone noticing? Where did the people go? What does that mean for us? I would like to think it's good news. Really? I don't understand what happened here, but if Source had indeed been colonized, then abandoned, that dramatically increases our chances of finding something to repair the nest with. That's what you call good news? No small victory. Okay. We'll make do. Nothing is a pretty good start. Hey, the first one didn't count. What? Why didn't it count? We hadn't started the contest. Uh, okay, one nothing. But that's only because I know I'll win. And that is exactly what will cause your downfall. Couldn't we go just a little bit slower? You should take the lead. Set your own pace. Nothing. Okay, okay, beginner's luck. But watch out, it won't last.
not bad. Hey, that's for cooking. Do we agree this thing does not look very natural? Yeah. It's probably satellite debris or a rocket propeller? This part of space is a real dump. I don't know. This stone circle around it still looks weird to me. This? These aren't stones. They're Briam's Mollus Molus. Bloofs, for short. Bloofs? Yeah, because when you sit on them, it goes. <laughs> I like. Huh. Oh. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> I think I could fall asleep right here. You? Ah. Uh, you? <gasps> Who? What? I told you I'm not going back. Go bloot yourselves! You. It's me. I think you fell asleep. Oh, sorry. These bloofs are way too comfortable. You can't leave me here. <laughs> if we ever need to sleep under the stars, we'll know where to come. Apple dues again. It's kind of a regressive dish, isn't it? Hmm? Why'd you say that? Well, it's a lot of fat and carbs. You're usually more fine dining. Hmm. That's true. There's more if you want. Definitely. <sighs> you know what we should have packed? A card game? My guitar. You have a guitar? Well, yeah. Where is it? At my house. On top. Well, I guess these days I can't really call it my house. Or even say it's my guitar. I didn't know that you played. To be honest, I wouldn't really say that I play. My mother's had me take courses when I was little. I took them for two years and then I got tired. I never touched it again. I even called it an old-timey instrument. <laughs> but, I don't know. Now, with the campfire and everything... Hmm. I wish I could pull it out. Oh, I would have played along on the harmonica. <gasps> because you play the harmonica? No. But since we're imagining things, let's just run with it. Yeah, you're right. I can already picture it. We could have founded a band! The number one band on Source. A Yuki! It's an anagram of you and Kay. Yeah, I got that. I was thinking more along the lines of...
Oink and his orchestra. Oh, Oink is in the band too? Of course, on vocals. <laughs> of course. Why not? Bite the rest. <laughs> not bad. Mm, dual flow. Acrocillin Blues. Where the heart is. A mare. <gasps> Space caress. Oh, yeah, I definitely like that. We are so space caress now. We'll bring the house down. We still haven't checked out the fragment flagged by the Draca. It is kind of far, though. why the Draca had this location in its memory. Huh? 
Did you feel that tremor? Yes. And I don't like this at all. What? I think I just swallowed a bug. <laughs> Ready? Now! Are you alright? He's right for the picking. Harvest time. Dodge this one. Uh -huh. Ready. Oh. Oh, did I miss? Don't think so. On your mark. Go, go, go! You know what to do. I got this. Ready? That should do it. Now shoot! The end. at work. You were trying to shake me? You failed. Hmm. Turquoise nodulated cap, semi-resupinate, smooth margin, and hymenium is adenate. Anastomizing lamellae are conchular with sharp and regular marginates. Short viscid stripe, flaring slightly underneath the lamellae. Superic fibrous flesh, tight under the hymenophore, yet spongy around the tubes. These are definitely Helicobacinium aplanatum. Are they good ones or bad ones? Good ones. Very good ones. Not only is Helicobacinium aplanatum edible, but it also has healing and immunostimulating qualities. An all-in-one first aid kit. That's perfect. Let's binge on helicaps and immunostimulate our guts. Uh, Helicobacinium aplanatum? Yeah, yeah, like I said, helicaps. <laughs> this one smells weird. Chuck it then. Are you insane? There's still more. Should we take a closer look? Are you okay? Enjoying the view? Definitely. Thunderous applause. Let's share those. Wow. I was wondering if we'd ever find one. What is it? A drone charging station. For those that aren't built to harvest their own flow. Just like our old Dracker buddy. That would explain why its location was still in its memory. You mean to tell me that this is some sort of flow pump? No. I mean that's exactly what it is.
That's awesome. Do you think it still works? Let's see. What's the matter? It says system malfunction error log sent. Sent as in. I don't know, Kay. Sent. Uh. Did we tattle on ourselves just now? If the apiary is receiving a message coming from source, they're gonna know it's us. Uh, hold on. Can this thing really beam a signal all the way to the apiary? We're millions of lumsec away from the closest planet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm probably overreacting. Until we figure it out, we probably shouldn't stay near this thing. Are you sure you know where we're going? I think so. Now what is this? No idea. But its engine hood would be a great fit on the nest. Is that even possible? Yes. Engine hoods are one of the very few standard pieces in the entire space industry. Someone got all the manufacturers to agree? No. One manufacturer gobbled all the others. <laughs> Same result. All right then, let's go. Huh? Go where? Well, to the nest. Aren't we taking the hood? Uh, yeah, yes, let's go. Let me know if I can help. I'm happy to say, that is over and done with.
You know, that is one nice vehicle. Of course. I'm the one who built it. Hmm. Do you still consider this the same? But this isn't the first thing you've changed on the nest. And I hope it isn't the last one either. So, my question is, at what point does the nest, the one at the beginning, stop being the nest? Was it the first time you changed a part? Or will it be when you replace the last original part? Assuming you haven't done so yet. Does it happen sometime in between? Afterward? And even then, before you fixed it up the first time, all the spare parts that would eventually make up the nest, were they already the nest? What about you? Are you still okay? Huh? Your body cells are constantly renewing, aren't they? Ever since you were born, you probably don't have that many cells in common with the K from the beginning. Actually, you two may not have a single cell in common. So, are you still K? I'll let you ponder that one. K! We need to go home now! You can think about that tomorrow, okay? The apple brew is ready! So what are we waiting for? 